Nation battles all across Canada are heating up as we look forward to the 2015 election, but the one that we have our eyes on now, simply because a big name candidate is getting into the race, Councillor Adam Vaughan from Toronto. He's an NDPer, but he is running as a Liberal. So, Ray Hurd, what do you think of an NDPer running in a Liberal seat where the yeah. Trudeau and his ilk wouldn't allow a Liberal to run in that seat. Yeah. And, Make some but, sense of this for me. And it was a woman Liberal, and they did it to her because her husband is alleged to have done something. So for the first time in Canadian history, a female would-be candidate is punished for something that a spouse or boyfriend might have done. But mm -hmm. getting back to the point, the reason this is such an important by-election mm -hmm. for the people in the rest of Canada who watch Sun News is this is Olivia Chow's writing. Yes, it is. This is it's, the one she left, Trini Spadine, to go run to be mayor of Toronto. And yeah. it's downtown, and the two candidates, uh, Adam Vaughan, who's a very uh, left-wing, uh, not particularly lovable character, and Joe Cressy, who's 29, who has been a Sun News contributor, mm -hmm. who is the official socialist candidate. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a... a fight at the OK Corral. This reminds me of the race that between Christian Freeland and the NDP -er, uh, Linda McQuaid. Yeah, this is much. what this reminds me of because it's two very high profile candidates. Yeah. It's two big names in their respective parties. Yes. But let, let's talk about the poli po political side of this simply because Adam Vaughn is um, is a socialist. I mean, he's an yes. NDP. Running okay? as a liberal. So, but he's running as a liberal. So but, why give him yeah. the green light and yet make Christine Innes's life a living hell when it came to because, even trying to get the nomination? Because, because she would not promise not to run in Christopher Freeland's new riding when the election is held, not the by-election. But the other thing that's worth noting, mm -hmm. I work, you know, as a young reporter, and Pierre Trudeau used to write editorials on my newspaper. Mm -hmm. Pierre Trudeau was going to run for the NDP till the last <laughs> minute until Pierre Trudeau decided he's a liberal. So there have been cases. The Liberal Party, whether you like it or not, campaigns from the left, mm -hmm. and it often, as Paul Martin did, governs from the right. So this is not to be unexpected. But the real story here, which is why it's a national story, is simple. Olivia Chow is now running for mayor of Toronto, and she has a very good chance of winning as mayor of all the people. Mm -hmm. She's going to face a terrible problem. If her riding is going to go to the socialist who's running for the Liberals, Adam Vaughan, mm -hmm. she's going to have to get down into the dirt and fight to see that the NDP candidate wins. And Malkair will be down here begging her to do that. Okay, and but she's the only one, she is the only one who can d keep that riding in the NDP hands is Olivia Chow. Okay, now that's a good point because she held it for a number of years yes. and her and Jack Layton were very, are very popular in that area. Right. And Jack's son, Mike, is also a city councillor yes. in, in the ward too. So that also, so the name is still very yep. much a presence, but that all said, that's going to be a tough thing for Chow to do simply because yes. she's, she wants got to be a big, yes, yeah. she's got a big battle going on, yeah. um, irrespective of the fact that she is the, you know, the, yeah. this considered the front runner. Um, still, it's going to be a big fight to get yeah. the mayor's chair. She doesn't want to be distracted no. by a by-election. And she doesn't want to remind people too much of her socialist credentials. She wants to, uh, to appeal to all people. And she has smart advisors mm -hmm. like the hatchet man, Warren, Kinte <laughs> Warren Kinsella. You're our buddy. Backing That's her. right, so, our friend. So this is, but, but if it goes as badly for the NDP as I suspect it will, because Cressy's a nice young man, mm -hmm. but he doesn't have the profile of it. Anymore. I think she will be forced maybe just to say something to um, see that, the, because this would be seen as a huge coup for Justin Trudeau, who chose this guy mm -hmm. at the last minute. Actually, they met after the Flaherty funeral. That's where they made a deal in a restaurant. So this is going to be a national showdown. And may I add one thing? It shows that Justin Trudeau, for once, has been smart. Mm -hmm. Justin Trudeau's enemy is not Stephen mm -hmm. Harper. Justin Trudeau's enemy is Malcare and the NDP. So if he wins this 
through Adam Vaughan, who is a crypto-socialist, mm -hmm. this will be perceived by the national media as a coup for Justin to show that he yeah. is going to replace, at the very least, he replaces Malkair as leader of the opposition and possibly becomes the next Prime Minister of Canada. Okay, I worked with Adam Vaughan when I yeah. was at City Hall. I'm familiar with his work. Uh, mm. He is very passionate about what he believes is the mm. way of the world mm. and how it should work. I, yes. I, I don't question that. However, we talk about a likability factor, and that is, shall we say, quite absent from yeah. a guy like Councillor sure. Adam Vaughan. Um, I always liken him to when Rob Ford was on council with David Miller, yes. the socialist mayor, mm. Adam Vaughan has become that with Rob, Rob, with Rob sure. Ford, right? Sure. There's this, this yeah. knee-jerk reaction to yeah. just oppose anything mm. and everything mm. regardless of mm. what it is. Uh, Councillor Vaughan doesn't necessarily play well with others. No. And, and in that sort of he's situation... He's not collegial. No. And he, he's won his seat. Uh, yeah. You know, he's the yeah. incumbent. And he's he's, done, a he's popular healer. there. He's That's a war healer. But you know what it takes to win these ridings, yeah. though. You have to do the door knocking. Yes, yeah, sure. You have to do mm. the coffee parties. Mm. You have to do the, the you know, sure. pressing of the flesh. I think um, Councillor Vaughan likes to do that with a certain group yeah. of people in his ro in his ward. Mm. I don't know if he will with others. That will both yeah. uh, not yeah. well for him, and that will help Joe Cressy, I yes. think, and for the NDP yeah. candidates. And and Justin will campaign there. Mm -hmm. Malcare will campaign. People really don't know who Malcare is in Toronto. He's a bearded guy from Quebec yeah. who has most of the seats. So that gets us back to Charles. Linda McQuaig, there's some pretty smart, I would mm -hmm. involve people like Linda McQuaig, um, who is way to the left, probably of Stalin, <laughs> but um, involve them to get out the troops in the election. And I hope Sun News viewers realize that you and I are not just being parochial now. <laughs> this right. is a national story. No, no it truly is. Um, I will say one thing about Councillor Vaughan in this, in this particular instance. Yeah, under the current rules, you don't actually have to resign your seat no, as a councillor to I run for a higher level of office. To his credit, he is um, once the by-election is called, he will not be seeking re-election on October 27th. Oh, so, and to his credit, I, so he's not looking for no. an escape hatch here. No. But let's just for arguments, let's play this out to um, to the by to a by-election. Mm -hmm. Let's say the NDP gets their act together. They get the boots on the ground. The troops are already going to be here because they're going to be helping yeah. in the NDP, mm. the Olivia Chow. Yeah. So they'll have another team. They can all yes, work with each true. other. That's what the socialists do. They move from yeah. province to province. Especially jurisdiction. with the unions, yes. Okay. So let's say Cressy takes it. Mm. What does that say about Justin Trudeau? Well, if Justin doesn't win this one, he's in big trouble. He's already in big trouble for demonizing mm -hmm. and blacklisting a female based on the alleged words of her husband. Mm -hmm. And he's done it all the time. He parachutes people in. He says he believes in democracy and free choice, and he doesn't practice what he preaches. Mm -hmm. So if he loses this, it is a huge victory for the NDP. And if I were running the NDP campaign mm -hmm. now, I would say, look, we don't have a chance. Okay. We're in real trouble. Yeah. This is going to be, we've got Justin Trudeau, the blah, blah, and make it appear because nothing gets people to vote more, true believers, than if you tell them it's going to be hard. So too much confidence is the worst thing you can do in Canadian politics. And there will be a faction within the Liberal Party that is in that riding association that is going to make the point over yes. and over again that the leader's office and the party trumped the local yeah. riding association. Strong on them, they yeah. voted against Justin, and they will probably support the NDP mm -hmm. out of sheer frustration and anger. And as I said earlier, it's worth saying again, Harper's treated the nomination battles democratically. He said, you guys fought it out in oh, Calgary. Yeah. Rob Anders lost and he, in Alberta. He, he yeah. Do your thing. Sure. Justin has behaved the opposite way, Yeah, well, uh, it's, which it's, is appalling. It's uh, going to be fun to watch, and yeah, okay. uh, we look forward to breaking it down in the future. Thanks very much, Ray. Have a terrific weekend. Thank you.